Hey there guys, it's Steven here again, and welcome to part 4 of my Surgeon Simulator Let's Play. And excuse me if I slur my words this episode, because I did just wake up and I'm tired of shit. I, uh, I apologize, I couldn't get any recording done, I was out at the lake all, uh, all day yesterday. So, let's get right into this. Oh god. Alright, here it goes. Well, Bob, you're in luck. Apparently Bob's heart failed on the spot, and lucky for you, Bob, I always carry a spare heart around with me. So you're one lucky bastard that I was here on the spot. You know, what are they even doing in the ambulance in the first place? Where are they going to take him? What the hell is the point of it? They're just gonna rush him to the hospital so I can just do this in the hospital? Oh shit, okay. Well, there goes the tomahawk. I'm kinda glad that disappeared pretty quickly. That wouldn't have been good if it was flying around. Fuck. I can't grab it. Okay, I got it. Okay. Now, if I could just grind his bones to shreds and not cut his flesh into little tidbits of... I don't know what the fuck it would become. Hey, come on. No, god damn it. Okay. Oh, this isn't that bad. Oh, shit. Okay, I caught... Oh, no. I caught him on that. No, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do something right now. Fucking... Okay, thank god the fire extinguisher fell out already. Watch my last episode, that shit fucking killed Bob right on the spot. Like, I actually thought I had it, and the fire extinguisher just like, fuck you. I wanna go put out Bob's life. He's still putting the fires like I should be. Oh shit. Dude, if anything bothers me the most, it's the swerving. Oh, goddammit, he's already bleeding. Like, the bumping and shit where shit flies in the air doesn't really bother me that much because it just raises my hand, but the shit where, like, the whole ambulance swerves just pisses me off. Like, how many fucking turns does it take to get to the hospital? This isn't a Pac-Man game, driver. Oh, hey, cool, I took out two of them. Okay, good. Okay, see, that's not too bad. See, I can just lower back down and compensate for that shit. The turns, it's just, like, swerve straight into his flesh and cut his shit to pieces. Holy shit, I got it. Okay, I'm not gonna need this again, so I'm gonna toss this shit down there before... It, or not. Alright, whatever, we'll just sit there. And his ribs already fell off, that's perfect. I'm gonna give him a syringe. Oh, fuck. No. No. God damn it. Oh, god damn it. No. Which one's the right syringe? Which one's the syringe I need? No, I have the drill. Oh, shit. Throw that shit out there. No one wants to drill. Oh god damn it. Okay, I'm so fucked. Wait, is that the blue needle? I just need to stab myself in the hand with the blue needle. Come on, come on, buddy. It's fucking blue needle your ass. Uh no, come on, slap the blue needle. I don't wanna be tripping shit this way. Okay, well you know what? First thing first, I gotta give his ass that fucking other syringe. Oh what? Okay, cool. I was even trying to stab myself with the blue needle, but I guess I did. Now if I could pick up the syringe and, you know, save Bob from bleeding all over the ambulance upholstery here, I think that would save us some money and some time. God fucking damn it. I thought I was clear. Oh, that's great. The needle's just going straight to my thumb. Alright, so I guess I'll just stick him in the face of my thumb. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna put this somewhere safe. It's not gonna move. It'll probably be easier for me to grab later on in this box. You know, fuck that table. Show us hard to grab. Alright, now yeah, just fucking. Okay, cool. Awesome. I think I'm a successful doctor. I've managed to trip two times and stop the trip instantly. Okay. See, Bob? If you would have cooperated, we wouldn't be throwing out your organs to the people on the streets hungry to sell them on the internet for money. God damn it, I can't grab his other lung. I don't know why it won't grab it. Oh, there it is. Okay, now you can just toss this shit out. Last thing I want is him dying by his own little flying organ parts all over the place. And this fucking alarm clock. I don't know why. I feel like every object I see that bounces that's slightly large is gonna kill Bob in the end because that fucking fire hydrant or fire detergent. Fire extinguisher last time. Okay, nope. Clock. Okay, I was gonna just lock it in my cabinet. Oh, yep. Good clock. Have fun in your new home. Okay, no, I guess not. 
Um, shit. What do we do from here? Oh, that's right, we cut off the esophagus. This is gonna be fun. So, I think I'll take my handy dandy esophagus scalpel. Actually, I've, I've never fucking seen this little midget ass scalpel before. I wanna use it. This looks like it's the least one for me to be fucking horribly accident prone with. Oh, wow, that was fucking easy. Just to slice that shit right off. Okay. Oh, god damn it. Stop swerving, driver. Driver! If Bob dies, I'm blaming the driver again. The driver's a dickhole. Okay, oh wow, I think I actually got it. Okay, fuck. Come on, driver. Driver, cut the shit. Like, can this guy just pull over for a couple seconds while I'm finishing this up? I mean, you would think. Shit, isn't he trying to get Bob saved too? Or maybe he's out to get you, Bob. It's okay, Bob. I love you, even though this driver's an asshole. Alright, well I came out without any disgusting ass sounds. I just grabbed the heart and I'm pretty much done. Awesome. Holy shit! Okay. I just give that out to the poor and needy. In need of... I don't know why they would need a failed heart. And, oh shit, come on. Your ass alarm clock. I need this heart. Okay. And... Fuck yes. I was gonna say fuck yes, but now my fingers are fondling the fucking valves of the heart. Alright, I'll just wait for that door to close before I drop it. Because I don't fucking trust anything whenever it's swerving and bouncing. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, landed perfectly in the box. Alright, that's not too bad. Alright. Awesome. One with the speed bumps and 999. Alright, that's cool. And right as I finish the surgery, his heart just plops the fuck out. Great job, doctor. Alright, well that one only took like five minutes. I would say let's try the kidney transplant, but I know I'm gonna fuck up really bad, especially with two little bastard kidneys rolling around the whole time. So, well, that's all for part four, I guess. Thanks for watching. You know, rate, comment, subscribe, leave a like. It really helps. And you guys take it easy.